Started yesterday with a look at a Southwest, or not a Southwest, but Alaska Airlines flight. And today it's a uh, good old UPS. He's not trailing, but he is low. He is abnormally low. Probably departed at least Denver Airport if he's truly a UPS flight, but the more and more I look at these planes, these are likely just drones. There's some man in a uniform or some outfit sitting at some remote location, you know, flying these little little guys along. And then they do what they need to do with the transponders and so forth on board with the uh, with the technology, resonant technology, etheric technology, scalar technology, whatever. It's on board. This is not the same plane. I just heard another one coming over, and so here it is. Another uh, another one of these planes. They just crisscross weather events. And for me, the, the primary engineering ones do not leave trails. These are the low and slow guys. That if you're out in a, in a weather event, be it a line of thunderstorm, snowstorm, uh, hail, whatever, it does not matter. You'll hear these planes out there in the in the weather. They're big, they're beefy, they're painted up like a regular commercial plane, and so they don't draw a second notice. Except for maybe the pilots that are aloft, the regular commercial legitimate planes, see these planes a mile, two miles below what the regular flight levels are, you know, in the 30,000 foot range. And so the second set of fleets, largely below the commercial ones, doing their work, doing their engineering, measuring the atmosphere. And I would bet dimes to dollars if I would track this for the next minute or two, we'll see a trail come on. I'm gonna back out. Because there are some clouds right in here. And I saw another plane go through the western edge of there, southern edge of this. See, now he's in here. And it was just leaving a relatively short trail. But it was this feature here that just was subject to another flight by a chemtrail one, not, a, not necessarily a persisting one, but one that lasted maybe eight, nine seconds. So we'll see. So I'm not seeing a trail. Probably just an investigative flight, or he's doing something that'll enhance this little unit of clouds as compared to the surrounding clouds. Gusty winds out here today in the wake of a cool front. And so I got a lot of dust out over the valley floor today. And that again impacts air quality. And then there's some snow showers this morning and some ice pellets, leaving you know a little bit of snow up top, some gusty winds in the wake. But otherwise it's been a pretty quiet day. There's a moon and I actually have hopes that tonight I'll be able to see pan stars despite this bright moonlight kind of washing out the more subtleties of this continent. We had another low flying jet. Too high, too slow to be or too low and too slow to be regular traffic. And he's not leaving a trail. And I don't know if I can really make out his make or his uh, livery, his, his airline. We'll have a look. Nope, there it goes. There it goes. So, we're working on something here. All kinds of funky stuff in the sky, and he's just right in the middle of this opening. I mean, right, 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 smack dab in the middle of it, which is so often the case. There's one clear blue spot, and they go right through the middle of it. This also plays into the holes that I talked about in yesterday's video. They like to precisely measure out where these holes are. And now you can see the, the trail going on and off. So it was on while he was over the hole, and then off otherwise. So we left a little meridian mark right down the center of it. And then his job is done for that location. So he's got this type of cloud on one side. You can even see the scallops, the patterning in it. Largely ends and then it goes normal. This side is a whole different pattern, a whole different layout. And that plane had to mark the middle of it. Just blatant, blatant, blatant as day. Once you see it, once you recognize the patterning of what's going on, it's impossible to miss this action that goes on in our skies each and every day. One more big flight. This puppy is one of those new United flights. And he just cruised right on down the middle of this seam. Right straight on down the middle of it. Now it looks like he started to kick out a trail. Yep, there it goes. On off, on off. 
uh, people who continue to say that it's oh, it's just atmospheric conditions. Well, yes and no. Humidity is not one of the conditions that determines or is the final say into whether these trails manifest or not. It's just not the case. There's another trigger, whether it's a switch, different change in, in uh, chemical makeup. But nonetheless, this plane was very interested in this stripe. And there he goes. Caught him when he wasn't trailing. As soon as he left the formation of this cloud, boom, on it comes. Time and time again, it's if these yahoos, that they call themselves meteorologists, call them local weathermen, just open their goddamn eyes and maybe look at the world with a different set of eyes. See, now he's just turned his on. Same thing. Same thing. Gonna just pass the coming up full moon. Well, not full moon, just past first quarter. But here's a delta flight. The question is, is he really a delta flight? And I would postulate that the answer is no. Not even close. Yes, they look like Delta. Yes, they're painted up to look like Delta. But if this dude's on track to get passengers somewhere, why is he 10,000 feet too low? Why is he going so bloody slow? And why are these clouds so interesting to these people? There's something else going on. And it isn't a simple ferrying of passengers from point to point. It just isn't the case. We can see how he's just too low and he's too slow. So there's something else he's investigating. And Delta Airlines has been compromised. Southwest has been compromised. United has been compromised. American's been compromised. UPS, FedEx, British Airways, Lufthansa, Singapore, Japan. They're all in on it. They're all, every single bloody one of them, participates either by allowing the powers that be to use their planes or to allow their planes to be used, or to allow the paint of their, of their company to be used. But we can see this is an on-off situation as far with regards to the trail. So, we call the FAA a bunch of liars, we can call the AMS, the American Meteorological Society, a bunch of liars. Most of these weathermen are just clueless. <laughs> Beautiful people, the 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 be